Okay, well, that's nice. I love this. Yeah, it's got some texture to it. I think it'll look really good in photocopy form. Oh, with the contrast? Yeah, with the contrast. Maybe we can turn the contrast up. Of course we will. <laughs> I'll always turn it up. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Hi. Welcome to Tharp World. We have time traveled to the 90s. If you missed the last episode, I'm Allison Tharp. I'm Allison OK Frost. And we found a time warp in Amoeba in the dollar bin, and you can find it too, it's in Berkeley. If you go underneath the dollar CDs into the VHS tapes and just scoot them aside, there'll be a hole. There'll be a really big hole and anybody can fit in no matter what size they are, because it's the 90s size hole. Mm -hmm. And the 90s size hole happens in our hearts, it actually happens physically in the world, and you can go there. And anyone who lived through the 90s wants the 90s. That hole needs to be filled, and that's what this show is about. Since we got to try time travel to the 90s, we have experienced um, a rebirth. Um, I, I feel like I've had an experience that's somewhat spiritual. I, I, I would say the same. And I've decided to complete, since I'm here, actually we're in the 90s, the year is 1995. You're seeing from the future, but somehow it's happening that you're watching us, don't question it, it's just happening. We're also uh, broadcasting live on several cable access television channels. That's correct. So if you are in the 90s and you're seeing this, there's no mistake. You're just watching cable access. Don't worry about it. Just keep doing what you're doing. And call us if you want. Page us. Page us. Call us. We can take your calls. You're sitting on the couch. We're at Kinko's. The year's 1995, no matter where you are. And it's magical. And to disguise ourselves, we've had to put our clippies in. So if you're in the future and you're watching and you want to be part of this, put your clippy in. Put your clippy in now. Put your clippy in now. Go get it. And if you don't have a clippy, you can use a clothespin or something. Sure. Sure. Or improvise. some foil. I don't know. <laughs> It'll help you participate because that's what this is all about. Tharp World is a participation show. We have a call-in number. You'll see it on the screen. If you want to participate in the show, if you want to end up in our fanzine, we're doing a comic tonight. We're writing all our friends into the comic who called or who sent pictures by, um, by email mm -hmm. into our story. We're at Kinko's, we're making our zine because I've reinvented myself in the 90s. I now work at a coffee shop and I make zines for a living. I feel completely assimilated. I, I think that you know I've embraced this new chapter in my life, which is also an old chapter in my life. Yes. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm full, I'm fully in. It's pretty great to know that the 90s size hole that I've had in my heart this whole time mm -hmm. can actually be filled. And I, I thought before that it couldn't, that I would always feel like something was lacking. I'd walk around empty and, um, and sad when I hear a song and I'd want, I'd want the 90s. And now by the grace of whatever is there that is watching over us, we have ended up here. And it's just so good. I wish you guys could be here. If you're in the future, I feel sorry for you. But if you're in 1995, that's great. Just um, keep eating your Pringles and go get a Diet Coke and sit back and relax and enjoy. Or come down to Kinko's. It's open 24 hours. We're going to be here the whole time. So mm -hmm. we, I mean, we've just set up shop and we're going to make our zine Yeah, we're, we're spreading out here. here this, is where, this is like our second home. Pretty much. We also are in a band, me and Allison, mm -hmm. um, and we're going to be writing about our band and our friends because that's what you do in the 90s, you write about your friends and your band. Yeah, and then when in your band you write songs about your friends. That's right, and about your zine sometimes, or yes. whatever else, but mostly about your friends. And like, oh, oh my goodness. We're already getting calls and the show this hasn't even started. Crazy. Let's put you on speaker. This is Tharp World, you're talking to the Allisons, the year's 1995, who's this? Uh, this is Jonathan. Jonathan, oh, let's turn you up. Jonathan, hello. Hello. Yeah, how's it going? It's, it's going just great. How are you? I'm good. How are, how are things in 1995? The, the year 1990. Are you in the future or are you, are you in 1995 right now? Because we can't tell. I'm calling, I'm calling from the future, as a matter of fact. Oh, you're calling for the future. Okay, so it's 2015 where you are. And That's right, yeah. So, like, have, have you, did you see the first show? Did you watch the first episode where we, we actually get to the 90s? Well, I, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, uh, you, you guys are in Kinko's, and it does in 24 hours, which is really convenient for, for what you're doing. Yeah, it really is. It is. I'm, I'm, well, I'm wondering about, 
If you have anything that you can contribute to this, like Alice and I only have our memories of the 90s and, and, and they're shaky and, and spotty at best. Mm -hmm. Do you think you could give us, you know, one of, maybe one of your favorites? If you, how, how were you in the 90s? What were you like? Let's draw a picture of you. How were you? What was I like in, in 1995? Yeah, for yeah. you. Yeah. So I had a, I had a broken ankle. A and, broken uh, ankle. Oh, great. Let's, let's, great. let's yeah. draw him. Jonathan had All a broken right. ankle. Allison's yeah. going to illustrate this yeah. for us. All right. So I'm going to start with a cast. Yeah. So broken ankle. Uh, so I was on crutches at school. Okay. Uh, what? what and, were uh, you in high school? High school. Yeah. I okay. was in a sophomore in high school. Sophomore in high school. And, crutches. Um, broken ankle. Right. And uh, so ripped up jeans and a Nirvana T-shirt. Nice. So, um, yeah. Nice. So so pretty much uh, you know. Sitting, sitting the part as much as possible. You can't get much more awkward than uh, you know, fifteen year old with a broken ankle and a Nirvana t shirt. Yeah. Um, that that is so true. All the other kids at school were uh, they most of them were black and they were into uh, Tupac. I see. Yes. I can see how that might be kind yeah. of awkward. The, the there was there was a big um, yeah. rock and rap um, you know, rift. It was it was exactly. like one or the other back then. You couldn't like both. Precisely. You were kind of one or the other. So, um, yeah, so, so I'm walking, uh, well, I'm not walking, I'm, I'm on crutches going down the hall in school, and one of the Tupac fans hollers at me, hey, keep your leg up if you love Tupac. Oh, how awkward what must that be? What, what did you do? School, so what did I, you I do? To, what, like, tell us what you did. What happened next? Um, I, you know, I think I just kind of laughed and, you know, tried not to get beat up yes. and kept going. Well, I think that was probably for the best since since you probably yeah, couldn't yeah. run and also you had your broken ankle. Man, that, that was that was tough times. So awkward, huh? Sometimes the yeah. 90s were, were awkward and sad and difficult, especially if you were in high school. I feel like they were for the most part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe it's for the best that it happened then and now you can just kind of enjoy the the sweetness of this experience where hopefully there'll be some healing around it. <laughs> That's right, yeah, no, I think so. And also, you know, we're in the age of mashups, so I can have Tupac and Nirvana at the same time if I want. And you know, you, you could. could. And you don't have to keep that separation alive. You can. That's right. That yeah. is so nice, you can put it all on shuffle. And you know, since your ankle hopefully isn't broken <laughs> anymore, you could be like on the treadmill just hearing it all. How is your ankle? Totally. Did your ankle heal up? Yeah, we don't. We, uh, not, not really. Um, I still have a bit of a lip, actually. Oh dear. Well, that, that is, yeah. that is too bad. Hopefully it's not as bad as it was though. And you have Nirvana, you had your Nirvana to keep you company then and still, I'm, I'm I, you hear Nirvana now in the stores. Everybody loves Nirvana oh, again. Sure, yeah. It's so, yeah, it's, sure. it's so wonderful. So tell us what your hair was like. I'm sorry? What, what your hair was like in the nineties. Tell us how your hair was. So it was, uh, it was down to my shoulders and parted down the middle. Oh yes, it was. <laughs> Love it. We're doing a whole hair so segment. We're doing a whole hair segment. Look like. I beg your pardon. We're doing a whole hair segment, so we need to know what your hair was like. I have to draw it to you. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't yeah, think down, I have that. Down the middle, uh, shoulder length. Trying as hard as I could to look like Kurt Cobain, but nice. um, I, my hair was much thicker than his and uh, dark brown. Oh, so I already I'm drew you. Really I already, I already <laughs> drew you. It's I drew this. Oh, good. Here, I'll show you what, um, it's the Lady Man Bob it, it, for men and women. It was, it's a unisex. Um, oh, great, yeah, yeah. So can you see Bob. it on the screen? Are you, are you seeing it? Oh, here, let's turn it like this. Can, uh, you, can you see it on the screen? Uh, hold on, hold on. It's, there's a little bit of a delay. There's a slight delay, but I'm hold, I've already drawn what looks like a, kind of a puffy bob. I had the same one because my hair was really thick too, yeah. so it didn't lay flat. How's that? Oh, that's great, yeah. Is that what it looked that's like? You, you got it. Oh, okay, you awesome. Got it spot on. Good, okay, yeah. that's excellent. I'm so glad that we could fit you into the into one of these pictures. Yeah. Wonderful. Good job. Well, thank you. It's like you were there. Yeah. Um, maybe I was there. <laughs> oh, this is a great picture. We have to hold it up. This is so beautiful. Okay. Jonathan, do you play any musical instruments? Uh, it, in the 90s or now? Either. Either way. Uh, yeah, in the 90s, I, I was playing guitar, mostly, because I, I found out that uh, girls like the guitar and not so much the piano, and now uh, 
being a grown man in 2015, I uh, play mostly piano and not so much the guitar. Well, do you, we're, we're going to need you to pull out your guitar for our Doom Ska band. Well, do you want to be in our band? It's We're in a Doom yeah, Ska so, band and we need a guitar player. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm in. Awesome. All right, are you looking at your screen right now, Jonathan? I'm sorry? Are you looking at your screen? Oh, no, I, I, I walked into the other room. Hold on. Go back to your screen. We have a special surprise for you. Okay, got it. Are you looking? Oh, it's, look, it's me with crutches. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that you it's, don't... You have the facial expression, too. It's perfect. I hope that you don't mind that we're going to put you in our comic. And our band. No, not at all. And, and our band. You're, gonna, you're our guitar player in Gut Shovel. That's what we're called. I'm honored. Okay, great. So you're going to be the guitar player in our Doom Ska band, Gut Shovel. Awesome. Yeah, cool. can't wait. Okay, awesome. I'm so, fa I'm so happy we found a guitar player. Because we were really concerned about that. They kept quitting, saying we were like unprofessional, which is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So we have t-shirts, you know? Okay, great. So this, yeah. is, this is great. Yeah. So Jonathan is our guitar player, and all is well in the world. All is right. That's right, yeah. I'll, I'll, all you got to do is show up at practice, you know, and you'll have the real, you'll have the real thing. That's you'll the, the hard part band. for me. Yeah, because Allison and I are fairly inconsistent. We have a lot of other stuff we have to do besides practice. But we do come yeah. to practice sometimes, some of the time. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, that is just great. I'm so happy we found you. C continue to watch tonight because you are going to end up in a comic. It's called okay. Our no, 90s great. Size Hole, and you should definitely get the zine when it's done. Find a way to get yeah, it. It'll wait. be at the compound, and you'll be can't in wait. it. Oh, my gosh. I Thanks like for I'll calling. Find the cool kids club. Well, we're our club anyway. We're, you know, we're kind of. Like, we think we're cool, but I don't know if anybody else does. We're probably cool. It doesn't I matter. guess it doesn't, it matter. doesn't matter. Like we're, I'm confused about that anyway. Like what? yeah, you know, you know That's who's right. cool? Right. Who's cool? Sellouts. <laughs> we, we don't need to be cool. Yeah, we don't need to be cool. They don't need to label us. Like yeah, sellouts. We're not that. Yeah, you know. What's cool, <laughs> not? I don't know. Awesome. Well then, thank you so much. Continue to watch, and you'll end up in our comic tonight. Thank you so much for calling. Okay. Rock on. Rock on. Mm. Rock on, indeed. So great. Okay, so we got a guitar player. This which is, is wonderful. What, which is what we needed. We, you know, maybe we should start some sort of band portrait just so that we know that we, which, you know, when, which instruments we still need, what we're working on. That's a great idea. We totally should. Okay, okay. so I'm going to start drawing us. We'll start, um, first we'll just write the name of the band, which is Gut Shovel. That's a, that's a good first set. Is it, a, how do you spell it? S-O-V. Uh, V-E-L. E-L. And then all, our logo is like a shovel with some, like, maybe with some, some guts, intestines. Yeah, being like, maybe you know, sort of sausagey, connecting, maybe dripping onto the ground. Yes. If you can, if you can make them look kind of wet, I think that's. I'm gonna that's just a good draw direction. like drops. Yeah. You know, like it's like spewing drops. Yeah. This is gonna be a great T-shirt. I mean, I said we had T-shirts, but I, that wasn't true. Yeah. Sorry. But I mean, I about that. This, we're gonna have t-shirts. We're gonna have t-shirts. You're gonna want them, just because they haven't happened yet. But they basically have, because I'm drawing it right now. Yeah. So everybody just settle down. Yeah. So it. if you're in 2015 watching this, the t-shirts have already been made and they're 20 years old. Yeah, and they're really cool because they're vintage in the 20 years. Because mm -hmm. they're kind of faded black. Real soft. Really soft. They're gonna be great. So okay, so I play the bass. Um, I also play the bass. And Hunter plays the bass. So mm -hmm. we ha our band has three bass players. Yuki plays the drums. And then Candy Raver Dave, I think, sells acid yep. in the crowd, which makes people like our music better. Mm -hmm. But And now we have or Jonathan. Worse, or depending what kind of trip they're having. It's true. It could be horrible. And then Jonathan's our guitar player. But mm -hmm. we need some horn players. Yeah, we need a singer, were... right? Yeah. We need a singer. But we can sing too. We can sing too. We, we'll probably sing. We'll pro yeah. We'll at least sing back up. All the other band members can sing too. What if we all sing at once? That though? sounds nice. We could do an eight part harmony maybe. Yes. It's, it's coming together. It's coming together. And our t-shirt is like, it's kind of like this. It looks more like a little shovel that people would dig in the garden with, but oh, you can kind of yeah. get an idea about how rad the t-shirt's going to be. If you get, I mean, this is going to be so great. People are going to wear this, and they're going to be not posers at all. 
Like no one's gonna call you a poser yeah, when you if, wear this. If you have this patch on the back of your hoodie, yeah, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be sick. Okay, so the diagram of the band. Let's see. I'll, I'll draw us really fast. Great. Hi, welcome to Kinkos. Do you guys need any help? Or we're good. What's going on? Yeah, we're fine. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. We. Is, is that your own table you brought in? No, this is your table. Okay. You guys had it folded up behind the counter. Okay, just yeah, keep track of the um, uh, the copies you make. And we're not making copies. Register. We haven't made any copies yet. Okay. We're just, we're in the planning stage. Got we're it. doing our layouts. Is this like a TV show? Or something? No. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Lights and camera. No, we're just hanging out. Okay. All right, great. Yep. All right, let let, let me know if you guys need any copies. Cool. Okay. We we sell copies here. Yeah. We don't have, we don't need any yet right now. We're just hanging out, doing our layout. We're doing a school project. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, great. Thanks. Yeah. All right. So while you're working on the band layout, I'm gonna get back to my comic here, nice. which is based on the. Donut Shop slash Riot Girl Club, the SoCo, um, which existed in Culver City in 1995. I think 1995 to 1995. Were you in that? Um, was, were you in it? Well, I was there, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I would take the bus. It took me an hour and a half to get there on the bus, but I would do it because it was the 90s and I had nothing better to do. It's so great. So great. And you have this rad memory of it i do i do yeah it's so great that you can remember it yeah i mean m my whole 90s is sort of a rolling brown out yeah but uh but you know at some point i came to in the soco and i was pretty happy about it i'm having a little trouble with my comic um as you can see i i drew out my comic here just to give myself an idea of of what each panel was going to look like Unfortunately, I'm, I've just come to this panel, mm. and I'm, uh, I'm not totally sure what, what to draw there. Do, do you have any ideas? It kind of looks like somebody that's about to puke, like they're, they're going to, or their hands are here, and they're just about they're to. They're going to puke in their hands. <laughs> and that looks like a baby seal eating a <laughs> carrot. All right. Well, I think that that's I a really good... I didn't ask the wrong person. <laughs> you know, I think that's a great direction for this comic to go. I'm just going to roll with it. I'm going to do someone vomiting. Uh-oh. Oh. We're getting calls all over the place. This is crazy. Hi, you're on Tharp World, and this is 1995. You're talking to the two Allisons. Who's this? Hey. Is this Candy Raver What's Dave? Oh. Fuck Candy Raver, Dave. Ugh. I can't you, believe You can't say that on, on, uh, on public uh, access. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Who is this? Uh, this is Disillusion 90s, Ryan. Oh. Mm. Oh my gosh. Disillusion 90s, Ryan. I had no idea. Yeah, you you sounded so much like someone I knew. But you no, weren't I'm not, him. I'm not can't. No. Yeah, no, it, it sucks. Because Dave actually sounds a little bit like me, so all his like, all his like, perked up, uh, raver hippie friends will call and and they'll start talking to me about electronic music or uh, mm. rave oh, music. Oh, I can see how that I would be really annoying. Like, yeah, maybe blow pop, yeah, pop really flavors. Annoying. And blow pop flavors, yeah. Yeah. Mm. That sounds like really terrible. Can um can can yeah. you describe your hair for us? Are you in the nineties? Right? Oh, Disillusion nineties. Ryan, what does your hair look like? Uh, so it's like sort of like uh, like Eric Stoltz and Pulp Fiction. Describe uh, it. What, what color is it, and what's the texture? Oh, it's just like long and orange, and sort of not that well kept, but sort of smooth and flat. Yes. <laughs> long and kind of orange. Is it yeah. parted down the center, perhaps? Uh. Sort of, uh, maybe a little off center. I don't, I don't really comb my hair ever, so. That is I'm, so I mean, great. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm seeing I'm it. Just, yeah, I'm usually just smoking cigarettes, so I don't have time to comb my hair really. I understand how much time that does take, and you can't do two at once. Yes. Yeah, you really can't. Uh, well, 
Yeah, it's hard to do, you know. This is great. Yeah. Are you wearing any um, nail polish? Chipped, maybe? Do you like put any of that on? Yeah, like maybe like the last flake of a nail polish I let my girlfriend put on me like two months ago, maybe. Yes. Like the last tiny chip is still on there. Yes. And um, and are you and your I, girlfriend currently together, or did you guys break up? Um, I don't know. What day of the week is it? I, I don't know. It, I don't really even keep track. She just comes. And sometimes she comes over. I don't know. Oh, I remember those, I mean, those I, that 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 confusion yeah. and that that um inconsistency and just that vague, that vagueness. Yeah. Are you wearing some I mean, kind of a sweater or t what is your what are, what are you wearing? What is your do you wearing a t shirt like a band t shirt? Maybe a v neck sweater. V neck sweater with maybe a kind of a dirty, like kind of tattered v neck perhaps? Uh yeah, I have like a it's like a I have like a pavement t shirt from their first tour before they even recorded the record. And nice. It, you can't really see what it is anymore, you know. I mean they sold out. They're on M T V now like everyone else. Sucks, yes, you know. Yeah, pavement. But it you're still wearing the t-shirt. You still like the band. Well, I just I only have like three t-shirts, so I just keep wearing them anyway, even if I hate it. I mean, everything sucks, so why don't I just keep wearing the t-shirt of the band that sucks, right? I yeah. love your attitude. Such a good attitude. Do you play, yeah. um, Ryan? Do you play any in musical instruments by chance? Um. Yeah, I mean, I sort of. Uh, yeah, I play, I play bass sometimes. I was in a band for a few weeks. Oh, were you? Um, but it just, it just seems so trite. You know, everyone has a band and they all suck. Well, our I band doesn't think, really suck, uh, actually. We're I don't really think good. you've heard of Do Gut you, Shovel. Uh, Have you heard Gut Shovel? I, I've, I've, I, I, I've heard you're good, but I haven't, I haven't heard it yet, no. That's okay, as long as you've heard that we're good. Which is true. Yeah. It's so true. Yeah, I like your uh, your t-shirt design. Is so is, is pretty rad, though. Cool. You, would you wear it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. As long as you don't sell out. We're never going to sell We're out. We're never going to sell out. Can you imagine? Never, ever. Everyone says that. Everyone says that like a week before they sell out. It sucks. I hope that that never happens to us, but it won't because we will make sure that it doesn't. Yeah, we. I mean, both of yeah. us always want to work at the coffee shop forever and and have like five dollars in our pocket constantly and forever. It, even when we are like fifty, we don't even we don't want anything. Yeah. Except for yeah, I don't even I have don't, a wallet, and I don't ever want one. No. Those yeah, are those are lame. Yeah, like why not just money. wear a leash? Yeah. 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 I love this faded pavement shirt. This is pretty great. Well, we already have three bass players in our band. Um, and we're getting so many yeah. calls, it's crazy. We already have all these people calling. It's oh my so God, do we have a, a call waiting? We have a call waiting. <laughs> wow, is this, this is a Tharp World first? Of course not, of course not. Yes, it is, it is a Tharp World first. But Ryan has got us, I mean, I'm kind of captivated by Ryan's Mesmerized. story. I love the fact that, yeah. I love how bummed you are on everything. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I can't believe I mean, I you're so bummed. Because you're in the 90s, yeah. and it's so rad. It's like Clinton years, and everybody's got money. I mean, what is there yeah, to be bummed I mean, about? I mean, it's sort of a good time to be bummed. I mean, people are accommodating to it, I think, in a way. People you know are what accommodating I mean? to it. Mm. Like, they, they, at least they respect it as a stance, you know, I feel. They don't get it, but they don't sort of like, they don't expect me to be too chipper, so that's good. I like that. There's Except a little bit of honesty. for Dave. He think he's always excited about stuff. Like I know. Over his, like, and he's always calling friends. the show. Yes, totally. And he's, yeah. always call he's calling the show all the time, so naturally we think like, oh, it's Candy Raver Dave. He's like at home all the time, or he's out selling drugs, but he's usually at home calling the show. Ugh. He's always selling drugs here. It's such a fucking. Yeah, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, him and his friends coming over, and he's selling. I don't. I don't like it. Yeah. I wish he wouldn't sell drugs out of our house. Yeah. Not that I care about anything. 
Do you um do you have a job, Ryan? Uh no. I mean I I work in a coffee shop like once a week. Which coffee shop? Do you work at our coffee shop? Does Ryan work where we work? Probably. I don't know. What day do you work? <laughs> I work on Tuesdays, so if you're not there on Tuesdays, oh, I probably never yeah. met you. Oh, yeah. I work on Thursdays. So. I, I work on Saturdays, yeah. so I didn't know you work there. That's cool. Wow, Saturdays. That must be a lot of work. It's not really. I mean, I show up. I, I do, you know, I serve the breakfast, and then it's good tips. Yeah. You know? Tips are nice. Yeah. The tips are how I survive. And then the food is really free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just. I just steal like 14 bagels from the coffee shop and that's what I eat all week more or less. It's crazy that in the 90s you can survive on bagels and talk and um, Taco Bell and the 99 cent tacos from yeah. Jack in the Box. I was um, yeah. a professional extra yeah. in the first 1990s and I survived off of red vines from craft services for months on end. How did we do it? There was something in the water that gave us incredible stamina. Now I can't eat dairy, I can't eat gluten or sugar. I can't even, I can't eat most meats. Yeah, no. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's crazy. The Back then, all I needed sucks. was red vines, cigarettes, um, coffee. I put dairy products in my coffee back then. How did you, how did you do that? I don't know. How did any of us do that? I don't even remember what I was eating, but I'm pretty sure it was mostly Taco Bell and chips and hummus. I like to eat hummus. I still do. Yeah. But it was a very strange diet. I drank a lot of Diet Coke. Basically Ooh. didn't drink water, only drank Diet Coke and then just like a lot of alcohol. <laughs> yeah. I was a big fan of Fresca. Fresca made a big comeback in the 90s. Yes, do you did. remember that? Mm -hmm. and, um, and Tab had just had this mystique about it when it came back. Tab. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the canned soda. You needed to be holding a can in the 90s. Mm. Wow. So, so you work at our coffee shop once a week? Yeah. Yeah. Occasionally I'll like sell some weed or something. Yeah, that seems like a pretty but good I, lucrative career back then. I mean, yeah. like now, where we are. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to call in and say, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say I like your show, but I have a kind of grudging respect for it, mm. you know. That's fair enough. I mean, I mean, whole, that's like a huge compliment coming from me. No, I you believe you. Done, you know? Yeah. And like, there's nothing original anymore. Everything is trite and played out. And, uh, but at least you're sort of like self-consciously acknowledging the tropes that you're using, like the kind of deadpan delivery and like cliche cable access TV vibe, you know? So I think that's like cool stuff to recycle. So yes. I respect that a lot. I, well, since it sounds like you don't respect much, I consider that an incredibly high compliment and I'm very, very flattered. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. I'm actually, I mean, my like heart really is warm right now because of that. Yeah. I feel good in my spirit feels like uplifted because right, of that. Right, right. There's, no, there's yeah. no compliment like the misanthrope compliment. Because they don't say. give compliments. No. They no, don't. you have to earn those compliments. They're and, just handing them and out. And they come out like they're so constipated. And just, <laughs> yeah. you it's know, like, a a, like a sludge just <laughs> working its way out slowly. It takes days. Ugh. And so that is like, they are, that is a great gift. That is a great gift. And, yeah. and we, we really yeah, think that. Yeah, the only thing I even like anymore, like on a cultural kind of basis, is like I have a, a bootleg of like Nirvana from like their first show and it's been like transferred so many times you can par hardly hear it, but I think can sort of like halfway through there's a lot of static and then you can hear Kurt tell someone to fuck to to, to F off <laughs> and so that's just like a moment of realness and authenticity that's like but I feel like even even they sold out pretty much right after that when they put out Bleach well and it was you know it was too much it was too much for for him yeah he couldn't handle it but it must be really hard when yeah. all the things you love are like all the people you love are constantly selling out and, you, and you're left kind of lonely because they all want to make yeah. money and stuff and like, you know, make a living. 
mm. at their art, and it kind of sucks. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. He should have just worked in a coffee shop once a week. I don't know what's so difficult about that. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're doing, and we're making it work. We're making it work. But not everybody is as strong as we are. Yeah. Oh, my friend's stopping by. He's. Good. I gotta. I gotta run downstairs because they're. Our, he's buzzing. I, uh, there's no buzz, but I can't buzz the door. But he's good bringing over these VH, uh, VHS tapes of, of like TV interviews with Char Charlie Manson. So I gotta meet him. Gotta yeah. Meet him. Well, that sounds like, like a, a really like fun a, evening. Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna watch interviews with Charles Manson and maybe smoke a little bit tonight. It sounds I mean, really it's not going to be fun, but at I mean, least it won't yes. be too trite. It, doesn't, it won't be trite. It doesn't sound fun. Um, it'll be adorable in, in some kind of depressing way mm. that so much of the 90s was. Yeah. So, well, enjoy. And thanks for yeah. calling. I thanks know how, how hard in. it must have been and how, um, you know, to, to give that compliment. So we really heard that. And we're going uh, to I mean, put you in our band, too. Okay. Yeah, I can... I could learn how to play something besides bass. It's not hard, right? Well, there's going to be four bass guitars. players now. <laughs> it's yeah, like, we'll just, just play bass. Have you ever played cool. the trumpet? Because our horn section is, it needs some filling out. You don't have to know how to play it as long as you can make noise on it. Just like, can you do that? Yeah, no, I played, tr I played trumpet in like high school band, so I could, I could do that. Perfect. Yeah. All okay, right. Okay, you're, in, you're in the band. Player. Welcome to Gut Shovel. It's uh, ska, doom, you know, it's really sludgy, it's, yeah. it's dark. I think you're going to dig it. There's nothing like it. They can't yeah, put us yeah. in any categories. Oh, they really can't. Can't label us. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. The band is forming. We're, we're doing great Okay, here. Enjoy, enjoy Charles Manson and, and whatever else you're going to do. Yeah, I, I'm not into enjoying stuff anymore, but I'll, I'll, I'm going to watch them. I'll tell you what it's like maybe next week. Yeah, you probably right. won't enjoy it, but you'll see you yeah, later, Ryan. Something. Okay, Ryan, thanks for calling. Okay, bye. Bye. Man, that guy is bummed. He is such a bum out, but remember the 90s when you could be like an adorable crazy girl and people were like, she's so cute and crazy. That, um, you can't I, do that now. Huh? You, need, you need serious psychological help now. <laughs> they want to get well. you into some kind of an institution. <laughs> I don't know about all that. Oh man, you could be so you'd just be crazy back then. You you could. <laughs> and, you could. And boys could be depressed and they were adorable. Boys Remember could that be depressed. Sexy depression. And, and girls could be crazy. You'd and see it that was guy. The 90s. Like, I mean, that sexy depression in the nineties. Mm -hmm. Remember that? I do. If I he do wasn't remember. depressed, he wasn't even worth talking to. Yeah. Yeah. If he, if he had the wherewithal to wash his hair, forget about it. <gasps> I wasn't interested if his hair smelled like clean. <laughs> Thanks for calling Tharp World. The year is 1995. You're talking to Allison Tharp and Allison Frost. Who's this? It's Luke. It's Luke. Luke. Luke, how's it going, Luke? Uh, it, it, it's going. I heard you, you all are helping people with 90s problems. Oh, we can help you with your 90s. Sure. Well, we, we can try. We have a lot of advice, um, and we won't charge you for the first minute. So go ahead. What's the problem? So I was driving. I was driving my F-150 truck to the gym this morning, and I was admiring like the chrome on like two bars in the back. You know, those triple bars, and, <laughs> and I was listening to my tape with my favorite tape, Ugly Kid Joe, on it. And the tape. <laughs> You're not making fun of Ugly Kid Joe, are you? I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. I'm still waiting for the problem. <laughs> the, the tape, the tape broke, and, and I looked down. I was wearing my favorite jams. <laughs> you know the ones, the pink party ones on it, like a little bit of black, pink on them. And I realized I had a hole in my jam. My tape broke. Oh. And it hit me. Bummer. I've got a 90s size hole, and I cannot fill it. I need help. You Even my ponytail, my ponytail can't <laughs> fill it. <laughs> How long is your ponytail? Is it one of those oh, little stubby it, ones, or is it a good long ponytail, like a grunge ponytail? No, it's not that long. It, it, it's, it's, it's professional, you know, like, I don't know, four inches, five inches, you know, just like yeah. Nick, Nick Steven Seagal. Uh, Luke, are you calling from 1995? 
Are you calling from now, from or from the future, from 2015? I'm I'm calling from the future, and I want in to 1990. Well, okay. Going into 1991. 95 is a little far. Music, music is too far gone. I want. Oh, you want the I early want a 90s. Bit of fun rock. He, he wants I the want jams a bit of and the Ali Kid Joe. <sighs> you want you want before. I want a whole lot of silver chair. Can you provide me with a whole lot of silver chair? Well, silver chair, yes. You know we can. And it would be helpful, you, I mean, you can go there if you go to Amoeba and go into the dollar section, just flip through the dollar section and you might find that 90 size hole that we fell into. That's where it's at. That's where it exists. But the one in your heart can only be filled basically from talking about the 90s. You just gotta talk about it. You gotta talk about it and you gotta express yourself. I'm not sure he should be talking about jams and Ugly Kid Joe, honestly. like where. Wait, everyone can just talk about whatever 90s they want to? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, pretty much. My 90s. My 90s. He wants it his way. He doesn't want to be in the year that we're in. He wants to be in a different year. Right. Well, we can talk about your year, but the year's 1995, so we may look at you sideways, if that's okay. Ugh. <laughs> Butt Rock's dead, isn't it? He's lost. It's, it's getting there. Butt Rock's over. Yeah. But Butt Rock's pretty much over. We do hear a little bit of disillusionment, and that is very, That's very good. cool. You're, you're heading in the right direction. We like that. We like that bad attitude. What else is the problem? It sounds like you got it pretty good. I don't. I'm not. I'm having a hard time seeing the problem. Well, it's '95. Music's all depressing, and people got problems. I just want to party. You know, like my jam hat on it. Party. You can still party. <laughs> But you might be kind of lonely yeah. because everybody's getting sad at this point, like you said, and that yeah. is kind of a bummer. But as long as you have your I'm tapes done. with you and you, have, and you have things that you like surrounding you, and you can, you can put up your posters, your band posters, you might hang out in your apartment kind of lonely, though, for a bit. But you can fix your tapes uh, with a number up, two Nacho. pencil. Nacho, shut up! Whoa! You, do, you, do you have a pencil nearby? You can fix your tape with that. Winding. Yeah, you have to wind it though. Wind it the right direction, and you'll you should oh, be fine. Okay. You should be fine. Okay. We're drawing a picture of you right now. Do you play any musical instruments by any chance? Um, uh, I play. Do you know what a stick is? Um, like a drumstick. No, no. It's it's a. It's like a guitar that you play with both hands. At the same time, it's far more advanced. Did you make that up just now? Is that a real <laughs> instrument? Is that from India? No. It's a real instrument. Super duper real. It's got like eight strings. It's not got 12 strings. They're all different. Did the Beatles use that instrument in their music? What? The Beatles, did they use that instrument? No, no, it's not real music. What? I don't understand what that is. Is it like, is it a percussion instrument? No, it's like a guitar, but far more complex. Allison's drawing a picture of it, right? Is that what that is? is he I, trying? I, Allison's I, trying to illustrate it. We're trying to get to where you're at. We're trying to like kind of pick up I'm what you're putting get down there. here. I'm going to get there. Are you familiar with the band Dream Theater? I don't know. No, no, no we don't know. We're not that cool. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah, yeah, we know. I, I've heard of that. Yes. It's very sophisticated. It's for people who like real music. Oh, I think yeah, he's one of those look. people that's like really judgmental. Do you work at Amoeba? <gasps> no. Because you're, you're like one of those people that, that like hates everything everybody else likes and only likes things that they like and then there's like... Really, really obscure stuff Only really sucks, obscure stuff that's... But, but that has been forgotten by mainstream society. Yeah. That's, you can't even get it. It's like gone. There's only like two copies. You should work at Amoeba. I know, though. I know. It's not yeah. too late. This looks pretty cool. Oh, does tonight. it has like two? It, it does look complex. Is it? Do you plug it into the wall or does it play on its own, just free? Is it electric? No, you need an amplifier for oh, it. Oh, you need an amplifier. Okay, all right. Yeah, you have to free that music from your hands, from both of them. Are you Luke with a C or a K? Luke with, with a K. K. Luke with a K. All right, all right. 
Yeah. I think Luke's kind of cool. I feel like he should be in our band. I think so too. Like I wasn't convinced at first. I know, but I think he's. I think he knows a lot about music. Yeah. No, I think. Uh, I think he's onto something. Have you? Uh, have you ever played Doom Ska? Played Doom Ska. Doom Ska. Like ska, like the doom ska. Yeah, like a lot sludgier and darker. But it's still ska. But it's still ska. It's still in three, four time. Because we're we're in a band called Gut Shovel, and we're looking for members, and we kind of like no. the, we like what you're what you're talking about here, because we've never heard of this instrument. Cat who lives downstairs, she plays sludge ska. So I've heard of it. I'm familiar with doom ska. I assume it's similar. It's kind of different though. It's better. It's better what we do. It's, yeah. It's, Is it tougher than Well, it's tougher. Uh, yeah. It's, it's kind of sold out a little bit. I mean, the whole genre is a little bit over. Kind of, kind of yeah. It's getting, it's getting a little bit mainstream now. And Doom Spa is like, like, like way, way scarier. scarier. So, much so much scarier. It's scary, it's scary music. music. I mean, little, should, little kids shouldn't listen to it. And also, and also most, most grown-ups should listen, listen to it. It's, it's, it's pretty it's scary. Pretty scary. Cool. What do you, what do you about think about it? it, 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 it that's, gone. That's, gone. that's pretty that's cool. That's cool. I'm okay with I'm okay that. that. That's from another country somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Really, 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 really anything that doesn't make a week of America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we, we, could, we could borrow from, borrow from that. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I could work with that. This is, this is guy, this guy. This is, this is, this is guy, this guy. I love it, I love it. So Luke is, Luke is, what is that, what is that again? that you play, you play? diagram of all the people and what they play and so we just want to be credible and taken seriously yeah we, we just want to be taken seriously you know sometimes i feel like girls aren't taken seriously especially in the, in the 90s uh, in the 90s yeah it's a fact so we want to make sure we got all our facts well, right the stick is only for serious musicians this is this is serious okay luke take a pic take a look in your screen and um tell us what you think of this is this a pretty good likeness of you how do you feel about Hold on. that? America Online is really slow right now. Oh, yeah, America. It's, uh, it is slow. Yeah, it, it is, is slow. It we'll is. we'll wait. Dialogue. We'll wait. Those pants are pretty great. Yeah, the jam. He looks like he knows a lot about music. He really does. So I love that. I just love that guy seems like he, he would definitely tell you how wrong you were about basically everything about music that you could come up with. Pretty much, yeah. I think he'd be a good band member, though. Yeah, I bet he wouldn't so let I, you I, drink I, soda I, in I'm a car. Just, just thought I'd let you know. Yeah. We box pumps. You know, they've got that, the, the ball pump on there to pump them up. Oh, that was, see, I put them in flip flops. Oh. All right, I'm just going to draw your pumps next to you. Yeah, because they're going to be in the corner, because while you're practicing, you're like at home lounging, and they'd be in your flip flops. And so we're just going to put your pumps in the corner here. That's uh, true. I do. I do like, I like the lounge. I just want to like party. Like when you're not, when you're not playing basketball or like. You know, pumping them and just yeah. hanging out, like pumping you know, those, them and hanging out. Because you know, you can pump them up just for fun. Oh yeah. So they're hanging out in the corner, and you're practicing stick, and you got your flip flops, your amp. Neighbors are complaining. Everything is good. There's no problems actually. This is a pretty sweet scenario. This is. You got to admit that your 90s size hole should be getting filled at this point. I yeah. mean, you can never really fill it completely, but hopefully, it's filling it a little bit. All right. It I sounds like Luke's uh, 90s size hole might be a little stretched out from a lot of like wanting the 90s. Mm, and if yeah. you fill it too fast, it's just going to get really stretched out. So you got to pace yourself. Pace yourself. Maybe maybe don't fill it with everything from 1991. I think you should try to have a more of a varied diet. Like try to try to find something positive about each year of the 90s, not just one year. And that might help you out. That might help you keep your 90s size hole a little more satisfied. Are you still what about 1990? 19, that's really part of the 80s. I think that, yeah, it's kind of borderline. We haven't really delved into 1990, except with Blossom. I, I do have a, I do like the show Blossom. Oh, yeah. I like that. How do you feel about Alice in Chains? I'm, I'm, I like Alice in Chains. Chains. What do you like about Alice in Chains? 
I just love that it's that it's rough and that it makes me makes my heart beat faster mm. and it makes me want to like run out and run into the street and scream and be crazy. I like I like that. That's what, like that's that. how it like makes me feel. That's how it makes me feel. Well, I mean, I hope that we helped you out just to fill the 90 size hole a little bit. And you can always buy the zine when it comes out. Oh, we only have 15 minutes Okay, I'll, I'll do that. Do you know where I can buy some more jam? No. I don't think I can help you with that. Do you know? Not at all. No, we can't help you with that. That's going to have to be something that you uh, that you work out on your own. Okay. Yeah. My guan is eating my sandwich right now. I should go. Yeah, you're going Thank on. you. Yeah, you're so welcome. Thanks for calling, and good luck. Good, good luck. luck, Luke. Okay. Thank you. And thanks Thank for being you. in the band. Okay. Practice is on What's Monday. The See you then. Name? See you Monday. Gut shovel. It's gut shovel. Gut shovel. Gut shovel. Where, like guts. At? Gut shovel. What was that? Okay. Yeah. Where's yeah. practice at? Do I need a time Practice machine? is at um, Allison's um, mom's garage. Yep. We'll okay. give you the direct. We'll, we'll, we'll just move the station wagon. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we'll tell you about it later. Where the practice is, like you'll find it. Okay, I'm just. Okay, I'm just gonna knock on garage until someone calls the cops or I find you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, keep. Yeah, okay. Cool. We'll see you Monday. All right. Bye. Practice. Bye. Rad. All right. Cool. So I think we're just. This is weird. This instrument. <laughs> that's that's gonna be. That's gonna be a trip. Yeah. This, I mean, this this band just gets stranger and stranger. Honestly. Yeah. Gut shovel is going to be the next big thing, but we're not going to sell out. People are going to want us to yeah, sell we're, out. We're not going to be, be like, the no. next big thing. We'll have the opportunity to be the ne ne next big thing, and we'll say, F that. We're staying on cable access. We're staying true to the fans. This is for the people. Yeah, we're not, we're, we're not going to go record in some crazy recording studio. Sit down with some executives at some oh kind God. of board table and work out Just a contract. Just because we're an eight-piece band does not mean we can't record on a four-track. We absolutely can do anything we want, and we will. And we will. And you know what? A four track is good enough for us. Mm -hmm. We're not sell out. No, we're not. And if you don't know where to find our tape, then you just don't deserve it. Yeah. Why don't you? Why don't you read more zines? Mm -hmm. Man, I'm starting to really get into the '90s. I am too. I don't know if I'm going back. I'm kind of. I'm kind of into not going back. I love that you can just be in a bad mood all the time. It's pretty great. And people are down. People are totally down. <laughs> Who else plays bass? Oh, uh, he plays guitar. Jonathan he plays, plays guitar. guitar. Oh, Ryan plays bass. Ryan, disillusioned Ryan. Yeah. The kids can't make any copies. Oh, we're we're busy. Yeah. You Just know what? Kinko's copies. Yeah. 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 Copies. Oh, we're going to in a second. Yeah, we're gonna make a copy in a second. We're just working right now. We're we're doing yeah. a school project. We're just making. Um, we're doing a layout. This is twenty four hour Kinkos, right? So we have like all yeah, night to do Ryan it. Yeah, is really getting on me um, about you guys like filming a TV show and. Kinkos. We're not. We're not filming. We already TV told show. you we're not filming. We're just doing a school project. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to ask you. I'll give you like fifteen minutes or something, and then you should probably wrap up or make some copies. Well, I mean, I, we I could, I could Why don't just a make a copy so he goes away. All right, all right. Can watch us do it. She's going to make a copy. God, this copy machine is so big. Look at that thing. How, why is it so big? For, computers are really big, too. Oh. Everything, like cell phones are huge. Is so weird. <laughs> it's crazy. Make one copy of that guy. Yeah, okay. Push the button on the right over there. Is that is oh I, that thing is is are we doing it right? Okay, all right. We so we made a copy. We made a copy. All right, yeah, here okay. it is. Great, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, you uh, wait for that at the front counter. We will. Yeah, we'll get to that. We will when we're done. Thank you. God, that guy is the worst. I know. It's like, why does he care so much what we're doing? It's like he's gonna get fired or something. His manager's. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> All right. All right. So I've got I've got this great panel of this common. It's, it's a little bit of a non sequitur, 
Um, oh, I love the sideburns. Yeah, do you remember the sideburns? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, sh I sure do. How could I forget? Mm. I didn't even get to I didn't even get to talk about my fish experience because during our last episode, Allison was talking a lot about um, her embarrassing stories about the raves, like going to raves, going and, like, to the was raves. Like, and some of our really embarrassing '90s stories. Um, and I didn't get to get. Maybe I can just briefly go into it. Yeah. Do you have any sort of illustration I you could do. use as a talking point? I do. I have. I have a really quick story before we wrap up that is only kind of half this only kind of half done maybe I'll finish it in the next one but I'm gonna just just for the sake of embarrassing 90s stories because if you didn't have an embarrassing humiliating and a horrible time then in some aspect you didn't really you weren't even really part of the 90s no it's true it was mortifying some of the time and horrifying too so I am going to show you an illustration of just a really quick story before we end because there's just so much we could talk about, but just for the sake of fun and to keep it fair, because Allison talked about raves last time, this is a story about me when I'm 15. And just to wrap up, we'll just end here. You know, this is, um, this is a story and I'm calling it the bad day. Can you see it? Can you guys see it? So the story starts out with me here and I'm 15 and I'm with some older kids, which is the beginning of every bad story back then. I'm 15 and we're going to the fish concert. It's in Sacramento we drove all the way from Stockton. And so I'm looking at the crowd and they just look like a bunch of burnout hippies and I thought they were the coolest people I've ever seen in my life. They kind of look like zombies, they're really scary. And some of them have had patches and corduroy skirts and dreadlocks and the crowd was pretty intense for a small town girl. Um, I saw a girl sleeping on, in the parking lot and I knew that that's what I wanted to do. She looked so peaceful and free as you can see right down here. So peaceful and free. She was in a puddle of something probably I don't know what it was but she just looks just like she was in she just looks so soft and peaceful just laying there on the concrete. Um, so my friends discussed who among us would buy a joint with our ten dollars that we had combined. And being, um, being a shy child, I decided that, they decided I should go because girls get better deals. Girls do get better deals. And so <laughs> I'm in the parking lot looking around at all the hippies and I'm, I'm full, my fingers are full of fear with the money. I'm like, which hippie do I approach? Which one do I approach? And that is where I have left off. So I'm going to quickly, very quickly, further this comic. Oh, this is wonderful. In a couple of segments, and drawing comics really fast is great because it, it kind of cuts the sensor. It really does. Of like, what should I write? So I'm just gonna draw it really fast. So I find a hippie, and I don't remember what he looked like, but he had, he actually approached me, so that was way easier. And he's like, young lady, I have what you need. And he sold it to me with, with the ten, for the ten dollars that I had collected, and he was very tall. I remember, and he was kind of a portly man. Maybe he was wearing a fish T-shirt. I'm not sure, but I remember he towered over me, and I gave him the ten dollars and skipped happily back to my friends, so proud of what I had done. When I got back to my friends, they were all really mad, and I was like, "Why are you guys so mad at me?" And they're like, "You spent all of our money, and you shouldn't have spent all our money. You should have bought at least two for that price." And being, being young and inexperienced, I had absolutely no idea how to purchase drugs at a fish concert. So I felt really, really bad. But so then they were all like, okay, well, let's just smoke it and we'll just forget about that. So I'm drawing myself here. This is, this is the man, this is what I remember him looking like. He, he was a tall, a tall gentleman. And I, and I walk away confused about the interaction and the transaction, but did my best. When I got back to my friends, they were all like, well, the, the concert's about to start, and I'd never seen a fish before, but I had developed a, a very, uh, an intense love of hacky sack that day in the parking lot. And so we were like, okay, let's, let's smoke this before we go in. And we all passed it around happily as high school. And 
also probably like 20 year old people hanging out with high schoolers would do because oh, I'm sure yeah. some of them were were, were at like least that. yeah they were real winners so that just that went around and we all like happily you know as you can see it's it's like floating amongst the circle within a few minutes one of the older kids and or 25 year old and or 30 year olds recognized unmistakably the scent and the flavor of PCP. Oh, I love those dissociatives. Oh yeah, just like in, just, just mixed in, you know, more for your money. So yeah, so it sounds like you, they were right. You did get a better deal than they were. I have. did, though nobody really knew it. I remember the look on everybody's faces as, as the, the, the energy in the, in the circle began to change. Yeah. And as a young woman, 15, horrified at, at the idea of everything that was happening and the change taking place, I promptly lost my hearing for what felt like four hours and saw many, many things that I can't describe. I couldn't describe them now and I couldn't describe them then. These were the looks on the faces of the people, of the, some high schoolers and some, some older people. And fish continued to play and play and play. So and you, play. did you uh, did you actually have tickets or did, were you guys just hanging out in the parking lot? I think we had tickets as That's far neat. as I can remember. And I wandered around, lost my friends. This is how that felt. This is all I could see. <laughs> this picture. And afterward, when my hearing started to come back and I felt slightly better because it felt like it was never going to end. They were still playing the same song as they were playing the four hours previous. That sounds right. And I went home and swore that I would never go to fish again, but I did many, many times after. You did not. Yes, I did. I did. I continued to go. And um, that didn't happen again, but I continued to go. Yeah. I continued to love to play hacky sack, which I still do. And I continued to love other things that may ha or may ha not, you know, been affected by that night, like the, the Renaissance Pleasure Fair, <gasps> which I have an undying passion for. Oh, my goodness. And I don't know if any of that was, a, was a, as a result of this, but I can definitely say that I was permanently yeah, altered after it, that it event. It sounds like. And it was one of the most embarrassing things. I mean, losing your friends, like wandering around, yeah, and then having an, un an unending love for hacky sack in your heart. Yeah, this is, I mean, you know, the, the 90s weren't all light and love and good memories. There, were some, there was some darkness, but we can at least make fun and enjoy that we can do the 90s all over again. That's true. We have a second chance. We do. We're going to do it right this time. We are going to do it right this time. We're going to work in a coffee shop. We're going to make zines. We're not going to get jobs. No. Nope. I refuse to get a job. I will not get a job. In the old 90s, I had a job since I was 16, and I never didn't have a job. And I'm like, not going to work that hard. Yeah. In the 90s this time. Yeah, no. What do you need? What do you need in the 90s? I need a cup of coffee, some good conversation, a cigarette, and my band. And a, a mattress was two dollars then. Totally, it's like you don't you can spend your tips, yeah, and you can be smoking for a long time. Yeah, no, absolutely. Chain smoking even. Chain smoking while working in the coffee shop. Oh yeah, because you can smoke in there. You can smoke in there. You can smoke anywhere. Out back by the dumpsters or in the coffee shop. Mm -hmm. And so, I would say that the the world turned into a giant hacky sack for me, and the end was just. The end was just a playful circle with some loving hippies, some homeless girls, a VW bus, and a, and a hole in my heart the size of 1995. I'm just wondering if we can change the subject because this is, this is kind of a downer. I know. It went there. It went there. It went there. Disillusion, I mean, disillusioned Ryan and... It, it just it just took it to a place that that sunk so deep. Yeah. I think we have to remember that the 90s is full 
and the hole is big, and not just happy stuff can fill it. Sometimes it's like picking a scab or something, you know? Yeah. You just gotta go in there and you gotta like, I mean, where are we gonna get the inspiration for gut shovel? That's true. It can't just be all like happy bunnies and like floating around. It's yeah, gotta be it's, like it's not dark all stuff. Night Rider lunch boxes and uh, elephant barrette. No, some of it has to be a bit on the dark side. All right. To like achieve that, that where you want to just like tear your guts out mm -hmm. somehow. But with but like with a horn section. Yeah, mm -hmm. with a horn section, and we still need more horns yeah if if you can fit into our horn section we have one trumpet we could use a trombone maybe a saxophone um are there other brass instruments a tuba oh we need more people for our band yeah and we need we need disillusionment but we also need positivity so i mean kind of like it's either one or the other People were very extreme back then. That's true. That's and so true. if you're depressed, that's cool. Yeah. If you're, you know, manic depressive, that's fun. Totally. And An if you like to smoke PCP, um, we would ask that you uh, find your band elsewhere mm -hmm. because that's, that they're usually pretty inconsistent. Yeah, they don't, they don't always show up. I mean, we don't always show up, but they really don't always show up. Yeah. So think about that. For our next 90s episode, we are going to be screen printing t-shirts. Oh, I can't wait. Which is going to be so much fun. And that's going to be happening in a couple of weeks. And so I guess since Kinko's is kicking us out, we should co collect our yeah. explosive like this memory is... and band pictures. And I didn't even get to the hairstyles. Like, oh my goodness. We have so much other stuff but this let's just like is amazing as you can see i used your suggestions and i finished this comic oh we have to hold it up higher okay so all of this is going into our fanzine 90 size hole which we are working on currently it will be available for purchase at the compound gallery and if you're in the past you can somehow get it by wishing for it and asking people because it's like really underground yeah it's pretty underground you guys but if it's in the future, you can get it at the Compound Gallery and other places. You'll figure it out. We'll make it easy for you. And then you can fill your 90s size hole. So here is the, the bad, well, like, yo, know, here's Gut Shovel. Okay. This um, is the, our logo and our four bass players. Yes. I didn't get to draw the other members of the band, but I will get to it. We just didn't have enough time. The Kinkos, they're going to kick us out. Oh, my God. You know why? Because Kinkos is the man. Totally the man. And then, of course, the fish memory, the bad day, which is going to go in there. The, the, everyone needs an embarrassing 90s story. And this is one of mine. So here's the fish concert that I just told you guys about, the ending. And I want to hold up these, worse. these hairstyles. Oh, yes. Because these are really something else. I didn't even get to talk about the hairstyles. I wish we had three hours to do this, but in the zine, we're going to be talking about all the hairstyles of the 90s, and I'm sure that the people that called in had at least one of these. That's the one that Allison and I have, kind mm -hmm. of, or that's kind of like Allison's. Or there could be a mix of them. There, there could be a mix. Ooh, so, the shaggy claw. Yeah, we've got the shaggy claw, we've got the liberty spikes, and we try to cover all the genres. I haven't even gotten to all of them that I want to, but there's a little sneak peek of what's going to be in our zine. Yeah, so that will be really fun too. And of course, we have our band, our band members. We have Hunter, our bass player, mm -hmm. and we have Jonathan. He's our guitar player. We've got Yuki on drums. We've got Disillusioned Ryan, our other bass player. And Candy Waver Dave is uh, in the crowd selling acid. You, unmistakable. You, you, you can't miss him. Here's another picture from the front if in case you just, there he is. There he is. Oh, and we forgot about Luke. Oh, don't forget about Luke. He, he's our, our most um, pretentious bandmate. But, you know, I don't usually think of hair metal and pretension as going together, but he's making it work. He is making it work. Look at that. Look at him. He is just going to tell you you're wrong. He's great. He's great in the band. He's very consistent, though. He is. 
So there is a, a sneak peek at all the stuff that's going to happen in 90 size hole. Let, let's hold up the, so if you're in record stores or you're on the internet, if you're in the future, this is what the cover looks like. You can find it all easily. Right. And uh, back cover, might have it flipped around. You're going to need to know what the back cover looks like. We're discussing all of these things. Yeah. It'll all be in there and you'll, you'll see it and you'll be satisfied. And hopefully your 90 size hole will be filled somewhat. Pace yourself though. Don't yeah. don't don't fill it too fast. It's just going to be worse. You don't you don't want to just go on YouTube if you're in the future and yep. watch this episode over and over and over again. You're going to hurt yourself. Don't do that. Okay? You want to go slow, especially mm -hmm. if you haven't done this before. Yeah. So work just, your way up to more. Just start with just the tip. That's right. Coke Frost does it again. <laughs> and watch, um, oh, we're gonna, oh, we have to make another copy because they, right, right. <laughs> they're telling us that we have to go unless we're gonna make more copies. This is, it's ridiculous. Don't it's, forget to pay for those two. Uh, yeah, that, 20, that'll happen. How much are they, 10 cents each? Yeah. 10 cents? Ten, seven? 20, 20 cents? All right. All right, here, just make one more okay. copy, I okay. guess. Okay, we're going to make a copy See, here. Look, we're Candy doing Raver it. Dave, putting him in the copy machine. We're doing it. This copy machine is so <laughs> crazy. <laughs> There's nothing like that here, sir. You're totally tripping, like tripping. crazy. You're totally harshing our mellow. We're Audi 5000 on Tharp World. It's going to be really fun next week and, or th probably two weeks from probably now. Probably two weeks. Two weeks it, from it, now. It might take us a little while. We've got to get, get our supplies together. Yeah. We've got to work on our zine. Got to work at the coffee shop. Yeah. So. Going to find some t-shirts. Yeah. If we gotta go doing our do our thing, you know the '90s are not easy. It's all hands on. You actually have to go. You can't order stuff on the internet. You have to go yeah. buy it, and so that takes a while. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll see you next time. And we thank you for watching. Thanks for everybody that called in. Thanks for everybody that joined the band. Yes. And who listened to all the trials and tribulations that were the '90s. It wasn't all candy and and lollipops. And it, wasn't, it also wasn't all tragedy. It was just a great mix of, of beautiful memories mm -hmm. and things that are happening currently, right now, in Kinko's. So we will say goodbye. I'm Allison Tharp. I'm Allison O.K. Frost. And thank you so much for watching Tharp World. Good night.